for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip the Mad Cheese as always. Got another Madden 23 video for you guys. Today I'm going to be going over an article that I came across that's breaking down all the new Madden 23 Superstar and X Factor abilities that are going to be coming to the game. Uh, I know this information might be out there. It might be like a day or two late on this. Maybe more. I'm not really sure because I did see somebody else's video. But I wanted to bring it to my audience. So if you guys want to see more Madden 23 content as it comes available to me, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. I know next week on the 18th they're going to start rolling out the player ratings and typically i like to uh, make videos about that every single day so if you guys want to see that hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that's going to get right in this article now this article starts off and i'll start off as well with probably the most broken madden 22 ability uh which was uh, escape artist everybody and their mother was destroying people with escape artists you could send a blitz with your fastest players and a lot of times escape artists would get around it and it was really something that was hard for a lot of people to stop it really made the game annoying it was probably the most annoying most overpowered thing in Madden 22. Well, it's still probably going to be overpowered in Madden 23, but at the end of the day, you're going to have a lot less access to it. You're going to face it a lot less because they basically changed it from a superstar ability to an X Factor. So to get an X Factor, basically you have to, I'm not sure what, what it's going to be to unlock Escape Artist, but it's just a lot more rare because you have to do certain things in game to get escape artist unlocked now if it's simply running the ball if it's something like you know run for you know five yards it doesn't say here but if it's something like run for five yards or have five yard plus runs or something like that if it's easy to get with running the ball people are still going to unlock it pretty quick uh, but at least you can knock them out of it and stuff like that and you'll, you'll have to face a lot less in a game so this is definitely one step in the right direction it also says that they slightly tweaked fast break i mean by that they basically changed it entirely you guys don't know fast break was essentially uh, something that when the quarterback received the ball on a quarterback design run they were faster they would take off a lot faster it now says you just get better blocking so take that for what that's worth because a lot of time blocking really sucks in Madden. so i don't know if having this will make them hold their blocks longer i really don't know if it'll be noticeable but at the end of the day it's definitely noticeable when your, your quarterback takes off faster in the design quarterback run. So this, to me, might not even be worth using. It's really something we'll have to see to find out. Now, if Escape Artist is the most overpowered ability when it comes to running with the quarterback, Gunslinger is definitely the most overpowered when it comes to passing. Everybody says you really have to have those two things or one or the other since you really can't. You have both in Mutt based off of the AP allowed at this point. But ultimately, Gunslinger is probably the most important thing when it comes to passing the ball in any mode. Now, it says it's been toned down to be less effective in Madden 23 than it was in 22. I'll read you guys the descriptions verbatim because I'm not sure I necessarily understand what they're saying. But it says in 22, passes with this ability have faster passing animations and increased velocity on bullet passes. So, faster passing animations and um, I think when they say velocity, they're talking about how fast the ball gets to the receiver. In 23, it just says increased pass animation speed and a larger threshold before using the Long Hill Mary windup animation. So I'm not really sure what that second part necessarily means, but if you if you read the two, the second one doesn't say anything about the velocity on the bullet on the bullet passes. So that makes me believe that the ball is still going to travel at the same speed either way. So if they took that away, all you're really getting out of this is the ball is getting out of the hand of the quarterback faster, which you typically can get. I forget the name of the other ability where um, if you're being pressured, your quarterback gets the ball out faster. That's always a lot cheaper. So to me, if that's all you're really trying to get out of it, then Gunslinger doesn't really make a lot of sense to take over that particular ability because if you just want to get the ball out faster, there's cheaper abilities to do that. So next up, we have brand new abilities. Now, I've said in the past in previous videos, a lot of times Madden doesn't really create Create new things they basically just break something and make it only good if you have the ability so that's kind of what a lot of this stuff looks like to me a lot of these um, abilities really only look like they just took away the effectiveness of the in the overall game unless you have this ability and I think you're gonna see that with a lot of these and I'm gonna go over a couple of them that look like that right out the gate things like low point dead eye um, that's something where you know I throw a lot of low balls basically now it looks like unless you have low point dead eye you probably 
probably going to be skipping these balls off the turf unless you have that. Now, what is low point dead eye? It says passers with this ability have perfect accuracy on any low point throws under 20 yards. And if you're going to have low point uh, dead eye, you're also going to have high point dead eye because that's pretty much the only two types of passes. High pointing, I don't think, has really been popular in the game since it first came out and it was really broken. Everybody was using high point dead eye when it came out. I want to say like Madden 19 or 20. I really don't remember uh, what game that was. But that, when it first came out, uh, especially if you're around the goal line and stuff like that, people were high pointing like crazy. So I don't know if having high point dead eye is going to be something that is going to go back to being broken like high pointing was. Could very well be because, like I said, I remember high pointing used to really have um, a lot of issues. It used to really uh, give people a lot of problems because it really changed the angle. It was just really effective. So we might as well round out the new X factors and the uh, superstar abilities for quarterbacks. The the next X factor ability is going to be dots. Now, dots is basically once you enter the zone, you're going to have perfect accuracy on all throws. So basically, uh, this could be one of the better ones to put on your quarterback. Um, and if you get into it, like I said, it says right here, when they enter the zone, all passes are thrown with perfect accuracy. That's basically point blank. There's another line. I really need to read that. But if you get in the zone with dots, you're just going to be, you know, hitting every pass, which is um, something that could really be helpful. Now, when it says all throws, is it talking about low pointing, high pointing, all that? I would imagine it says all throws. So basically any type of throw, whether you're throwing a bullet pass, a touch pass, a lob pass, every type of pass should be 100% accurate with dots activated as your X factor. And then they also have something called persistent, which is a general superstar ability. Players with this ability are harder to knock out of the zone. It says if you have persistent, uh, it's going to be harder to knock your player out of uh, out of the zone. So, you know, if you think about it, a lot of times it's pretty easy to knock out of the zone. If he incompletes a pass, if he gets sacked, if, he get, if a running back uh, takes a one-yard loss, a lot of times they're out of the zone based off of that. So this could just basically double that, triple that. It's really hard to say. I mean, if it's take two sacks to get knocked out of the zone or, you know, drop two passes, it's going to be a lot harder um, to knock somebody out of the zone. So it but persistent might be worthwhile if you're, especially if you have like an overpowered zone, like, um, you know, like we went over earlier, a uh, skate artist. If, if you, if you work hard to get a skate artist back and, and make it as broken as it was in Madden 22, you're going to want to stay in that zone. So persistent might be a very good thing to add to your mutt squad. And then last but not least, we have uh, inside shade and outside shade. A lot of people don't know that you can already shade inside or outside in the game on defense. Uh, simply by hitting the wire triangle button, and I think it's left or right on the right stick, choosing inside shade or outside shade. So I'll go ahead and read the description. It says, inside shade, defenders with this ability generally react much faster to receiving cut moves when in man coverage inside the numbers. Now, that doesn't really... Well, if it's man coverage, I think typically people probably throw inside the field more in man coverage like things like slants drags those are probably more typical uh man coverage beaters that most people run when if, if it's man coverage i do think inside shade definitely would be helpful if it's zone coverage i think outside shade would be more helpful but this doesn't say anything about zone coverage it says man coverage once again so in outside shade defenders with this ability generally react much faster to receiver cut moves when in man coverage and the outside the numbers. So, like I said, to me, that's typically the area that Madden doesn't cover well. Cornerbacks don't really cover well is outside the numbers uh, towards the boundary. Typically, corners don't go far enough. It's like there's some sort of buffer between, it's typically like a five yard buffer between where the cornerbacks will cover in a zone coverage. They typically won't go to, to the boundary to cover certain routes. So that would be helpful, but like I said, it says it's only a man coverage, so I don't really know if that's going to be helpful. Typically, between these two, I don't know without playing the game, but I don't know how much of a difference it's going to make. I feel like inside shade will probably be better. If inside, if, if they're making faster reactions to, to cuts in man coverage, and if somebody's trying to run a simple slant or a drag or something like that, they'll probably be uh, be able to, uh, to cut that off. Um, probably the best outside route. There aren't really a lot of great outside routes when it comes to man coverage in Madden anymore. Uh, things like the zig route, I probably would say would probably be the best one. So outside shade probably would help with that. But otherwise, um, I don't know if these abilities, they don't really get me too excited. Inside shade and outside shade. Let me know in the comment section if you shade a lot in a game and if it helps you. Because to me, even when I shade a lot of times, it, I don't notice any difference. And I don't run a lot of man coverage. So maybe shading was something that was really meant towards man coverage. Because this is these new abilities are definitely meant towards man coverage. But that's it. That's the vid. If you guys want to see more uh, Madden 23 update videos or more Madden 23 videos as the information drops, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. 
Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.